So, let's go ahead, and determine this in the insertion point. Clicking on apply to accept. And here we've the truss beam now in its correct position. So, let's close this tool, and have a closer look at the design of this component. Well to begin with, we find an interference between these two members. Thus, and for avoiding a potential calculation issue, let's go ahead and remove this particular member. Of course in both ends of the beam. Done. Although, these other members, seem to be as well interfering with the columns. Nonetheless, and if we turn the artificial thickness off, we could see that in reality the analytical model doesn't present any such problem.